Hello everyone, welcome to my video. My name is Travis Garrison. I am working on some videos to do. I mean, I feel like we're getting, I know we're getting closer to the end of time. Um, and this is, uh, I was going to show y'all some entities of, uh, in the stars. This is a star Sirius. Y'all see the entities of, I mean, you know, I'm going to stop it frame by frame, kind of, you know, I mean, it, I can't do it each frame by frame, but um, we're getting close to the end of time, and God said there'll be signs in the sun, moon, and stars. And uh, but I'm going I'm to put a link in the description box to this video, and you can go, if you can stop it, you can go to this video, and you can do this yourself. Stop it frame by frame. Nobody on this earth can show you the stars like I see them. Nobody. I've showed y'all the image on my right thumb. Um, I believe that I know who I am. For, you know, I know that for a fact of the, all the signs that God gave me. Go back to my videos and watch. When I the just go back to the beginning of my videos from the very start. If you ain't if you're new to my channel. I want to thank y'all for coming and, and subscribing to my channel and watching my videos. But the first thing I want to do before I go any further is give my creator, L. Elyon, Y-H-W-H. That's his character that he created. And Yahshua. And the queen. There's a queen of heaven that's been... God kind of hid the queen of heaven. The The... This playbook that we're, everybody's going by, even the rulers of this world, are going by the Bible. Uh, that's, the, that's the story that everyone, not everyone's going by, but the rulers of this world are doing it. And they're trying to rush, you know, they're trying to hurry up and get their plan into place before uh, there's a, a thing called the rapture. And uh, I believe there's, myself, I believe there's uh, a couple of different times Jesus is coming. He's coming once in the clouds to harpazo is the word, snatch away to take um, violently his people off this earth. There's a few chosen ones. I don't believe it'll be a whole, whole lot of people the first the first go round. And uh, it's just that I would call it the church because that's the ones that really follow God the correct way. They try to follow God the correct way through the shed blood of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ has got a, a resurrected body. He's sitting at the right hand of our father and our mother. There's a mother, woman, a female, or feminine, I guess you could say, there too. Because we're a reflection. This whole earth is a reflection of what's going on in the heavens. So you, you have a mother too. She's just been hidden. The queen has been hidden. God hid her, protect uh, um the king protects his queen. That's how. That's how it works. And you can go through the Bible and you can see that. Especially if you read the book of Esther, you'll see some problems between a king and a queen. And um, that uh, I kind of got off subject here, but anyway, on going. And y'all can go on and do this to several, every one of the stars I recorded, and you can you can see the entity. Some of them are a little more clear than others. Um, the stars don't like you recording them. And this is the wheel, another one of them, a wheel within the wheel like Ezekiel seen. And y'all see the wheel starting to take shape. So it looks like a wheel, like on a car. All right? Nobody else can record that like I have. And I ain't bragging, folks. I really not because I've, I've tried to live a humble life before my Creator. Because if you're not humble, you're not going to get into heaven. There's conditions. I don't care what anybody says. There are conditions. This path is straight and it's narrow. And few be that find that path. And we're getting close. You, I mean, I'm just saying you better find that path, that straight and narrow path. It's You have to be humble. You have to be meek. And you have to care, love your neighbor like yourself. Well, first love the Lord your God with all your heart. And uh, so what I'm going to say to people, if you ain't on that straight and narrow path, if you have any darkness in you, I suggest you fall on your face before God and you reach nobody but Him. You reach, 
uh, Jesus Christ is the only advocate we have to get to heaven. That's the only avenue that we have to get back to our father, our mother, back to heaven. So, you know, I'm just saying that sometimes you have to fall on your face and stay there and pray until you reach Jesus Christ, your advocate, your brother. That's who he says he is. He's our, he's our creator. He come here. He was God in the flesh. When he came here in the character of Jesus Christ, he was he's God in the flesh. I don't know what happened to him. Oh, let me, now this here is Venus, the star of Venus, okay? And it's the, another wheel within a wheel, spinning within a wheel like Ezekiel saw. And it's got a scroll on it. Y'all see the handles? Like the book of life. He's the one that's worthy to read this, to open it and He's the only one worthy that can open this. He says, I am the bright and morning star. So when you see the star of Venus, it's not a planet. It's a star. That is the light of Jesus Christ. Yeshua HaMashiach. That says his name was Joshua. Well, it's really Joshua in the Hebrew. Uh, at the time so anyway y'all see this looks like a wheel y'all see the scroll there on it it's like the old time scrolls they used to ride on and this thing gets a spinning and it, 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 I'm going to click through it a little bit a little faster and um, see it looks like a wheel inside of a wheel y'all can kind of see and you'll see the spokes looking you know it'll, it'll start spinning so it's starting to turn like a wheel within a wheel. Right there. And that's what I kind of wanted to make this video about because we're getting close to the end, folks. I've seen at least five times a, the, a whole line of stars going through the sky. The perfect straight line of stars just going across the sky. Well, the other night I was, had, I was talking to a man and his wife outside and... Um, he was looking up at the sky because I've been showing them some signs that's going on in the sky, trying to get them, you know, uh, to realize what's happening. Well, that same line of stars came to the sky, through the sky. He says, look up there. So we look up there, and there they are again. And, uh, and there was a doorway opened in the heavens, and these stars went into that doorway. And I'm telling you the truth. I haven't got, I didn't have my camera with me to record it, but a doorway opened. And the lady said, oh, there's a door. They're going in a doorway. I said, yeah, yeah, they're going in the doorway. All right, that's what's fixing to happen on, on this earth. We are fixing to go through that doorway. And um, and I'm going to say this as humbly as I can. Folks, I'm the gatekeeper. I'm not the gate. Jesus Christ is the gate. Um, so when you come into the golden gate of heaven, you have to go through me first. I will, oh, I will read if your name's in that book of life. Because uh, Jesus is that door. He is that light book of life, really. I mean, he's the doorway to go in. Uh, so your name has to be in that book. I get to, I get to, I'm the gatekeeper. So I get to, um, if I don't get to read it, he's going to read it aloud. And I will let you enter through that, that doorway. That's what the... These pop-ups always start happening when I start trying to do a video. But I'll tell you what, folks. It has been a really somber time lately in my life. When I'm starting to see these signs of the stars going in through doorways that, you know, I don't know how to really convey the message like I need to, you know, like I want to, what's in my heart to convey to people because the world is going on as usual, you know. I mean, they're not looking up. They're still doing the things of this world, you know. They're still, their their heart is not serious for the straight and narrow path for the things of God. Uh, there's a lot of new age teaching going on, um, you know, around the world. And, uh, I mean, it's really sad. It's, you know, it's a, it's a sad time. But I was made to handle this, this time that we're in. I was put here for the end to, uh, to, I'm going to do some videos on my Hebrew name because you can decode yourself. You can decode this matrix through the Hebrew 
demonstrative system. I don't care what anybody says. You can you can see what's going on with the. You can decode the end. It's coming and it's coming soon. And I'm just saying that I want you to go with me. But I I see people every day that is not going to get to go. You know they're they're kind of friends or acquaintances. You know, and they're not going to get to go with me. Um, I'm going to be the leader that goes there, and then we'll come back to this earth. And we will rule and reign on this earth. And uh, so anyway, but I'm going to go back to this uh, video here, and I'm going to stop and let show you some of these entities. There's that wheel again. Um, Elijah went up in a... Uh, Elijah is known... These are called the Ophans. Um the, they're uh, either they're cherubs or they're cephrims, the angels. These are, because uh, we came from these stars, folks. When we came from these stars. Somehow, I don't know how God done it, but how he created this matter and this, you know, the th stuff called matter that you see, like you see another person, you see matter. Uh, and it's um it's intelligent design we have an intelligent design by intelligent designer you know and uh, he controls everything he even controls satan you know satan thinks he's gonna rise above these stars and be like the most high no he he's he still has to report to god he still has access to god to be called in summoned in to account sometimes like in the book of job so anyway, but y'all see the wheel. This is a this is a serious star. They call it the dog star. But you can stop on each like I'm doing, and uh, you can see the entities. And one, like God is made of seven spirits. Uh, around God's throne is lion, ox, man, and eagle. Four entities that's part of God's spirit. That he can change, he can transform into that image, just like the fallen angels did when they came and had sexual intercourse with women. They changed their, they transformed into a human, just, just like uh, God says, Satan can come to you as an angel of light, a false angel of light. Angels, it when when two angels went to Abraham, they were human beings. They were angels, messengers sent from God, you know, and uh, they look like humans, they act like humans, and even Satan can act like humans. And some people say that the, in the Garden of Eden, if there was, uh, that's what Satan did, he transformed into a human, and they call it the serpent seed doctrine, you know, and I'm starting to think that might have been what happened because you can do the Hebrew research, and there's plenty of room, the uh, translations could be. One of them is seduce, you know, uh, seduction. That's one of the words for beguiled. He said, Satan beguiled me. And uh, so what I'm saying is that, that I don't rule out anything anymore. I research it out because I, I've been deceived by the church. And if you're doing the things of the world, you've been deceived by the world. I don't care who you are. We accepted the reality that was handed unto us as, you know, truth. And it wasn't, it's not the truth. I don't care who you are. It takes something, you know, you got to want to see the truth. you got to want to do, uh, there's conditions to get on that straight and narrow path. If you're not on it, you're not going and you're going to be in for, the Bible says three and a half years. You're going to, there's no, never going to be a time like this. Not even World War II when Adolf Hitler killed over six million Jews. It's going to be worse times than that for three and a half years. And here's what's going to happen a lot of people, you're gonna, you're gonna have to take a mark, and you got to research what this mark is. One of them is number it's supposed to be six six six, and some of the older translations say six one six, but it also says you got to have the mark that or or the name. You got to have the antichrist name on you somewhere, in you on you somehow. So there's like three different. I think there's like three different. Um, um, things that you got, you got to have one of these three things on you before you can buy or sell. And I, 
And I can assure you one thing. They will, if you have kids, they're going to take your kids and torture them in front of you to make you take this mark if you don't want to take it. And you're going to submit. Then you will submit and be have your soul doomed forever and ever and ever eternity. You cannot. You have to get on the first flight out of here. You really do. And from the signs that I'm seeing, I know that it's getting close to time. And when I say close, I believe within the, I believe within the next few years, and I believe it'll be sooner than that. But you know, uh, it looks like things are winding down, and there's there's putting in the everybody. And let me here's what another thing I'm gonna say: they're gonna trick you if you don't think if you get left here, they're gonna try every underhanded way, just like they, Satan did in the Garden of Eden. They're gonna try to trick you into this mark. They're gonna they'll do anything imaginable to you to make you take this mark you're not going to be able to buy sell buy food or anything unless you take that mark you're going to have to live like cavemen so to speak really and uh, i know people that here lately that that i can't that that is not on that straight and narrow path to get out of here for a little while god said he'd go, he'll he'll he's going to save us from the hour of temptation when we're tempted to take that mark he's going to save his chosen ones that's on that straight and narrow path and uh anyway i kind of got off sidetracked there a little bit but i mean we're just getting close to the end and and uh y'all see these stars the entities in them and that's what god said that god said there'll be signs in the sun moon and stars and that's exactly what these are Signs in the sun, moon, and stars. See that face right there? The teeth. And uh, that looks like Medusa, kind of in a way. But there's a, you can kind of see, a, you kind of see the eye socket. See the two eyes and the nose. And then even there's little, littler entities up around here. See what I'm saying? These things have, these are made of entities. There's several entities in one star. I mean, there's thousands probably, like Satan. When Jesus cast the uh, demons out of this guy, Jesus asked him, who are you? He said, the, the spirit said, the evil spirit said, we, my name is Legion, we are many. They come from these stars. And you can go to any of my videos where I've done these stars and do this, and you can see I even got Satan growling at me in one. I mean, he I'm the most hated person on this world by the evil kingdom. There's even serpents in this video here. I caught them all ago. I don't know if I can catch them again or not, but there's there's uh, snakes. All these stars ain't ain't good this is um i mean it's it's unreal i mean it's just it just it, this is unreal when you see these entities like this there's i mean there's some creatures that's inside these stars and this star was going crazy that night i mean it was it was so disturbed that night that I recorded this and, and uh, it's I mean I could feel it even before I started recording it the the uh, energy from this that was that this star was emitting that night Nikola Tesla said if you want to know the secrets of the universe think in terms of frequency vibration and energy and these stars are vibrating and they're making what you call sacred geometry um, I don't know how to really explain that but these geometric shapes that you see they're they're in and each point is if you remember george bush the the father george bush the thousand points of light he was talking about a star because inside that geometric figure is sparks in in the connection points and they change uh they they change that that symbol changes shapes and that changes those thousand points of light at each one
I want to thank you. I want to thank everyone for coming to my video. Uh, I'm really, it's really, uh, I haven't done very many videos in a while because I've been, that's a pretty bad looking entity looking in there. I just want to get to the, where the snake part was. It's hard to catch them if you're not going slow. You know what I mean? If you don't slow it down, it's, on my camera, I can do frame by frame. But I'm on my computer right now. And, it's, and see the rainbow colors in this star? We're created from that light somehow, from the colors of the rainbow. Hey, if I'm going to ask everybody to, at night when it turns dark, if you got clear skies and you ain't in a big city where there's a lot of light pollution or interference, just go up and watch the stars. You'll see the watchers and stuff. They move across the sky. They don't blink, but they will go out after a while. And uh, you, um, they, they don't do it every night very all, a lot. But the other night I seen a huge, it looked like a meteor going so slow straight across the sky. It looked like a ball of fire. It was so huge. I run myself to get my camera, and when I got back out, it had disappeared. You know, it was in a different section, a different behind the veil a little bit, but I could see through that veil some. Just and I got a video of a buzzard I did. Y'all go look at that, and you'll see that uh, that it's got one side of its wing is like a hand. It ain't like it ain't got feathers on one side, and it's a video too. It's a real recording. And folks, anything I put on the internet, I take serious. Kind of like this star serious. I take it serious because I'm not going to post anything that's a lie. Uh, I got to stand before my creator someday. If I if I get in that mindset of doing something wrong, you know, and uh, I got to stand and give my have to stand and give an account for that. And God, it's the beginning of wisdom is the fear of our creator. That's what the the word of god says uh, and it's a it's a another scripture it's a frightful thing to stand before our creator it's it would be a frightful thing if you don't make it on that straight and narrow path then and you have to give an account there's two judgments coming the judgment seat of jesus christ and the great white throne judgment the great white throne judgment is where you don't want to end up because that's the one where you're going to give account. If you're saved, if your spirit's been washed by Jesus Christ and you've been reborn, your spirit, then you don't have to really give an account like that. But I think some of us will have to give an account together. If I've come across you and I've done you wrong, then the other person don't make it to on that... Uh, to the judgment seat of Christ, where it's the reward seat. That's what that is, the reward judgment, you might call it. But if you have to stand, if I'm saved and I make it to the judgment seat of Christ, and I knew you and you uh, didn't make it, and you had to face the great white throne judgment, I'm sure that I'll have to go stand with you. And God's going to point out to you, the reason you didn't make it and like i'll have to be a witness i believe that's i believe that's because it's just like a courtroom folks it's going to be just like a courtroom and um i don't want to stand before god and have to be the one that's facing him and um give an account for things i did wrong anyway i want to thank y'all for coming to my video i'm gonna post a, a link to this video here and I'm going to ask you to share it with all your friends and family because it's getting serious out there, these wars and rumors of wars, you know, and uh, and all the evil rulers of even the United States is uh, misleading. They're, they're, they're deceiving the world. They're deceiving the world. And um,
Thank y'all for coming to my video. I hope each and every one of you has a great day. And I hope each and every one of you are on that straight and narrow path. I mean, it's uh, it's it's all in your heart. You have to have a clean heart to be on that straight and narrow path. You, um, you know, if you're saved, God says, I'll write the commandments on the fleshly tablets of your heart. And it will make your heart. You won't have to. It's not like a law no more. It's that you will want to do it because we are a temple of we are a temple now we are the temple like the church building ain't really a temple like it was when jesus came i'll send the holy spirit to you and you can be reborn and you become the temple so it's the holy spirit's living inside of you that's the temple and you know the, the new age kind of a thing now i know there is like a system in you like a chakra system i know that's uh i know that's a that's the temple you know and uh but they, they they're taken away from it you know by not adding god in there you know they're just um uh, anyway I'm, i ain't gonna get into all that because i don't know really a whole lot about that i kind of try to stay away from that stuff a little bit because i was put here for one thing one purpose only on this earth and i intend to fulfill it to the very final dot and t's or however, however that said and um and I ain't done everything right, that's for sure. You know, and I admit that to everybody. I'm in a human body. As long as I'm in a human body, um, there's going to be temptations and stuff that, that I do incorrectly. And um, I ask God to forgive me every day, you know. And some people say, well, you're once saved, always saved. I, I just can't believe that because I, God says, oh, if you, do, if you do something like this, I'm going to block your name out of the Lamb's Book of Life. And uh, so why would God even say that if you, you know, I will block you out of the Lamb's Book of Life. So you ain't, I just can't see where, how you, if your name was in the Book of Life, and God says, I will blot it out if you do these sins against somebody, or against Him, have other idols, other gods, uh, other, uh, these people that channel, um, these people that channel uh, spirits, I mean, some of those spirits, there's familiar spirits that knows exactly how to, they transform into. Um, I ain't saying it's, I ain't saying that it's right or wrong. Um, I'm just saying there's a lot of deception going on, and you got to be very careful. And uh, if if you let one of those spirits, if you let one of those spirits that's trip, it's a familiar spirit that reminds you of your that acts just like one of your ancestors or something. How do you know? Um, Cause they can, there's, and if you let them speak through you, they're using your DNA, you know, and it may be your ancestors, you know, I ain't saying it's not, but I'm just saying it's a scary thing. It's to not have anybody other than Jesus Christ. Now in the time we're living in any time you, that you let something come in to your mind and use your speaking, your voice box, they're, they're, they have connected into your DNA. And folks, it's all about the DNA. The DNA is, God has opened up the DNA. And so whatever you see your kids doing somewhere in your family, and it could be one of your ancestors, um, you'll see your kids doing something that it's really what's, they're, it's, he's showing, just like, say, for instance, me. There's things I know I don't do right. Well, if I, I see my grandkids doing that, all the way down to my grandkids, I see my grandkids reenacting what I do, and I'm looking at them, and I'm thinking, man, i got to stop doing that because my DNA is showing up through. Um, through my kids and grandkids. So it's a, it's, it's a really scary thing. We're living in scary times, you know, if you're not a saved, if you're not saved, and... Um, Jesus Christ is the only way. He is the the way, the truth, and the life. He is the only way to back to our father and our mother. I'm gonna say that too. A lot of people going church people's gonna get mad at me for that, but it, how can we exist without a mother, a queen, a king and a queen? You know, I mean it's just not possible. You have to use common sense sometimes because they changed the the Catholic Church nine hundred or six hundred years ago changed the holy spirit from feminine to masculine and you can research that out 
And um, well, thank y'all for coming to my channel. Um, 